Hello YouTube, I'm Dawn and welcome to Double D Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make SOS spam on a shingle. I know this is generic. This is Dollar Tree brand actually and I like these because they're smaller. It's just two of us so these work out well for us. But anyway, this is so easy to make. I hope you'll give it a try and it's a way to use your pantry food. So, you know, the stuff you have stored up long term. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right. So, our first step is to get this out of the can, which, you know, always takes me a minute. <laughs> I'm going to get this diced up just like this. This is an easy recipe to make. And I'm just going to turn my skillet on a medium to medium high, depends on your burner. You know how your stuff works. And all you need for this recipe is some grease of some sort of fat. You can use sausage grease, bacon grease. I'm using bacon, you can use lard. Anything to add a little flavor to it. And I'm gonna put probably about two good heaping tablespoons of grease in here. And like I said, this is bacon grease. And yes, I don't mind those little brown crumblies. They're tasty, tasty. And you'll need three tablespoons of flour and milk. And of course, salt and pepper to taste. I am not adding salt to this until it's done and I taste it because spam is salty. Even generic treat lunch and loaf is salty. So with that being said, <laughs> Let's get into cooking this. Well, we got the skillet nice and warm. I'm just gonna throw my meat in there now and cook it till it's browned up. And get a nice little golden brown on it. I've got some nice browning going on now. You see that? Ooh. Yum. <laughs> And now all I'm going to do is take my three tablespoons of flour and sprinkle it around just like so and cook it until it browns. I want my flour to brown up some because if you don't, you'll get that raw flour taste and that doesn't taste good. So I'm going to brown up my flour now. Well, my gravy has browned up a little bit. See how it's changed colors? Or my gravy, my uh, milk. I'll spit it out. <laughs> my flour. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> and now I'm using whole milk. You can use canned milk. You can use the Gosner Shelf Stable milk. You can use powder milk for this if that's what you have. And then all I'm gonna do See how I got a little stickies down here? I ain't even worried about that. Because when I pour my milk in, it's gonna deglaze the pan. Now I'm using probably two cups of milk because I'm not trying to make a big skillet of gravy. And uh, you can make, you can add, use a bigger skillet and add like a quarter cup of flour and use a lot more milk to make a lot more gravy. So this is very versatile and goes a long, long way. And I am gonna cook this until it starts to thicken. This part goes pretty quick and you just basically cook it to the thickness that you like for your gravy. And this is almost done. And this, this doesn't take but a minute or two. As soon as it starts getting thick, it's gonna get thick quick. See? Yeah. So, I'm gonna go get my shingles to put my uh, spam on and we'll plate this up because I believe I am ready to eat. I forgot the pepper. We need to put pepper in it. Oops, <laughs> at least I remembered, huh? And you can always put it in after, that's good too. There we go. Now I'm gonna plate it up. Mm, look at that. All right, I'm gonna give this a taste and see because I've never tried this. <laughs> it's 
it, it sounded good in my head. So we're gonna go get into it. I got it on toast. Cause I'm the only one here and I didn't want to make biscuits just for me. <laughs> not bad definitely definitely not bad so I'm gonna put a little salt on this a little more pepper and get my little juice here and I think I'm gonna go have breakfast and with that thank y'all for watching and if you're new here and you like what you see please subscribe give me a thumbs up and to everyone that comes back every day and shows your support thank you so much and I love you and God bless y'all